This is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com, and today is March 14th, 2021. It is currently 8.32 p.m. Chicago time, and I thought we can touch on the gold market tonight because I am seeing something that smells like opportunity, at least for the short term, uh, the immediate short term, I'd say for next four weeks before we would see any kind of a pullback. I'm looking for the upside in gold for the next four weeks. Why? Okay, let me try to kind of show you why. You're looking at the weekly chart of gold. And this is the gold futures market for those unfamiliar with this. And this is a weekly chart, so each one of these price bars refers to a complete trading week, Monday through Friday, makes up one price bar. And if you look at this price bar that I have highlighted right here, it's the last one. Okay, this represents week ending March 12th. Well, March 12th, of course, was last Friday. Today is Sunday, so it was two days ago that ended last week. So this is an up-to-date chart. And tomorrow, again, of course, starts the trading week uh, where another price bar will start to form following this one. All right, let's start off with the support that you can see that's evident here. And that is I have applied a time price square onto this weekly chart off of the most recent uh, significant top and that is of week ending January 8th 2021 and projecting down in price we can see that the current low nailed that support and it turned out to be a bullish week yet this is still a bearish pattern here but you know what they say that even in a bear market, you gotta have those rallies, and that's what it looks like we're going to be getting here. Because there's another reason, even a more important reason. You see that red diamond right there? Okay, if you've been watching my videos, you already know what that is. But for those new to my videos, that red diamond there is a weekly F date. F date refers to future dates or their uh, forecasts for the weekly time frame, That would be a weekly F date. A daily F date would be a future forecast for daily turns. And when I say turns or swings, I'm referring to, you see, swing bottom, swing top. You see, swing top, okay? Swing bottom, swing top. And there, if you look even closer in the chart, you can find some even minor ones, like here's a swing bottom. You can see that it's a lower low than the previous week and then moved up. Anyway, so there are plenty of lessons on that uh, at my websites. But right here, we are looking at a high probability. Okay, there's no such thing as certainty in trading. High probability. That's what we want as market timers and traders. High probability. We have a high probability with the evidence here that one, we already have a forecast that was uh, projected in advance. This red diamond here was represented uh, prior to the previous week here. So these are always given in advance. You can see there's one several weeks out in the future right here. Okay, and I'll go ahead and tell you which one that is. Looks like uh, we're looking at week ending April 9th. So write that down on your calendars because that is actually the projected end of the move for at least the initial move. You know, sometimes I confuse newer traders or chart readers because when they when you tell them that market is going up, uh, the novice readers or charters or traders think that it's perpetual that it will just keep going up forever and never turn the other way well if you look here at this market obviously was moving up and up and up and up and up but it never goes straight up it goes up ah it pulls back it went up it pulled back it goes up again 
it pulls back. Here it went up, and now it went lower. Went up, then went lower still. And then now it's doing the upward seesaw. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I think you get the idea. You know, I apologize for you uh, experts out there and those familiar, but uh, you know, it's there's a lot of people watch these videos that they get lost in the small details. I wanna make sure that it's completely understood that when I say that I am expecting gold to go up, I am talking in the short term here because here I'm expecting a weekly swing and so far none has occurred anywhere here and yet we're expecting one because what my weekly update says it's going to happen and my weekly updates are usually 90% on the nose. So the probability is very high that we're going to be going up in gold. But how far will it go up? Well, we know that it's going to go up for a little bit. And I'm saying that right now we're looking at April 9th as a very good target for the prices in gold to move up. Then, of course, you know, it'll pull back for maybe a couple of weeks and then go up again. You know, that seesaw pattern. So let's not worry about way out here. We'd have to go into the monthly chart and the yearly chart if you want to go way out in the, you know, take a, a, a whole forest view. But I'm looking closer at the trees and the leaves. OK, so right now we're looking at a weekly swing bottom. In other words, this low that occurred last week. And on this futures chart, it looks like it's 1673.30. Uh, we're looking for that to hold at least for the next few weeks. Okay? So the probability is very high that it will likely last, um, you know, up to this time point here of week ending April 9th. All right? And remember, today is March 14th. So that's a nice little stretch of time. Now, that's the weekly, all right? And, you know, you can use these little oscillator indicators and all that other kind of stuff. They're pretty cool, too. And you can see here that, uh, you know, it's in the oversold and it wants to break to the positive side. So it might just do that. So that's you're getting a little bit of indication here. The only thing I didn't like... Uh, and, you know, there's always going to be that uh, that one person in the party that just kind of throws a wrench in things, okay? And that is, you see this oversold right here, this, this red area? This is called an oversold zone. You know, when, when you're really looking to go bullish, it, it really is nice if, the, if it's coming out of this zone here before it goes up. But it doesn't always do that. It just would be really nice, okay? It'd be that little icing on the cake. But all right. For what it's worth, we're, we're giving a cycle analysis here and an F-date prediction. Well, that's an F-date prediction here. So we got our 90% probability, okay, 91. And uh, we've got a target time, which we normally don't specify a specific date that it's going to go to. But it looks very strong that uh, it's got good potential to go up for the next three, four weeks. Okay, so let's go with that. All right, and on the daily, all right, which is, uh, you know, a, a very uh, closer time frame uh, to most of us as traders. And we see here that we had a, uh, the low of last week actually occurred right here on March 8th. That was Monday of last week. And it is nice to see that it did occur in the daily oversold zone. Matter of fact, all the way at the extreme right there. Okay, so I'm expecting, of course, that we're going to be looking at further rise. Like I mentioned, what, the next three, four weeks, right? So we've got opportunity here to break above these uh, three uh, uh, EMAs. Okay, these moving averages, exponential moving averages. So anyway, uh, right now, this short-term F-date produced a swing top right here within a day. And right now, we, this one is within a day of here. So this has the potential of, of being a 
higher swing bottom than the very bottom, which is a really great place to uh, buy off of. Uh, or what we may see here is that uh, because we are we do have another one that's really close is that this could probably go up to this overbought zone and then maybe pull back to this area right here. Uh, not this price area, because remember I said that this bottom here of last week should hold for the next three, four weeks, right? Okay, so keep that in mind. This is a very good area here. So if you you went long gold as a trader and not a holder of, of the metal, uh, you know, you can put your stop loss down here and there's a very low probability that it will get uh, hit. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to buy now or you buy when this confirms as a swing bottom, uh, but uh, there's good possibility that it could go up another day, for example, Monday, and then pull back for the week, but just not below this low. So you can get in here and then write it out as it goes lower here, but not as low as this, or you can wait. But, you know, of course, sometimes the, the train can leave without you if you if you think it's going to pull back and instead it, it doesn't. So I leave that up to you. But that's the whole key right here is that this is expected to hold as a weekly swing bottom for at least the next three, four weeks. And even after that, it could possibly hold for even much longer than that. But it probably will see a little pullback for a week or two. Um, looks like here, yeah, possibly a couple of weeks. So uh, there you go. That's uh, that's it for this, uh, you know, uh, forecast in the gold market. So if you're a gold trader uh, and you were looking to get back into gold or add to your positions or so forth, well, there you go. Opportunity for gold for the next three, four weeks. Well, hey, if you haven't visited my website, uh, it's at amazingaccuracy.com. I have a market forecasting book, uh, a market forecasting secrets book. Uh, it has been selling since uh, 2010. Great book. Uh, I invite you to consider an investment in that book. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And hit the notification bell because when I post my videos, they are timely in the sense that they're better to get them when they first come out than after the move has already happened. So you want that notification, click that notification bell. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.